Okay, hello and welcome to this video today. So today we're going to be having a look at my Dakota and the elevators on it. So um, when I picked this up, um, I pretty much threw this model together just to get it test run on the ground and make sure everything was all looking okay before then giving it a proper look over ready for flying. Um, one of the issues when ground running was came to clear um, when the elevators started vibrating rapidly so not only are they loose side to side by quite a bit they also have some movement front to back which is not good it uh, means that there could be chance of flutter and all sorts of problems in the air so we need to get that sorted so what I'm going to be doing today is showing how to basically correct this so i'm going to be removing the elevator so i've already kind of spotted that the hole here there's a pin um that was dug in there and i've just managed to get the glue out and uh and pull that pin out slightly so we can go ahead and and pull that all the way out and then basically have a look at um bushing the pin so what we're going to do is put a brass rod all the way through the elevator um, to basically strengthen that hinge tight to the hole and leave as less slop as possible. Um, so yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're going to try and get this out. So as you can see, it's quite tight in here. I'm really having to struggle to move this from side to side and get this out, which isn't great considering the, the hinge rod actually um, is meant to move with the elevator so that's just putting extra strain on the elevator servo when it's trying to move so there we go it's popped out on the fuselage side and then just pulling it out through the hinges all the way out and there we go we have the elevator off and the hinges out on display okay so now we have the elevator off and on the workbench as you can see, the uh, the rod is has got bits of rust on it, and and just where it's kind of been sat in there in the elevator, um, yeah, rotting away. So what we're gonna do is first of all just just kind of sand off these little bits and bobs that might be built up on the rod, just to clean them up a little bit, loosen them off. So it makes it nice and smooth and then what we're going to do is just get a little bit of the uh of some uh grease silicon grease so this is just a simple silicon grease that i found on ebay just cheap and we're just going to kind of rub it over there um on the rod and, and it just kind of helps lubricate it protects it from the uh, from the rusting and and as it goes through the tube it obviously all rubs in and dissolves into the tube the brass tube that we're going to be putting it in as well uh, and just kind of lubricates it so it makes it smoother to flow through as well um so this is the brass tube you want it to you want to make sure it's a nice tight fit um for the brass for the rod that you're going to be using so i already measured this before um to make sure it was the right size um, and you want it as tight a fit as possible because you don't want any kind of movement in there at all. You want the to literally be able to just adjust, push the rod in and have no gap there whatsoever, which is perfect really. You want it to move freely, but you don't want there to be any slop so that when you move in it, there's no kind of wobbling or vibrating when the engines are running which is great. Okay, so now we've got the rods um, kind of in the brass tube and nice and smooth. What we're gonna do is try and thread the rod now through the elevator itself. So what we wanna do is try and keep that line as clear and as straight as possible so that as it passes through, um it's keeping no kind of drag on the rod and making that movement 
um, going through there fully smooth. So um, the hole is obviously already loose because of the slop in it. So what I'm going to do is actually just push the brass rod through this um, with the rod in place to keep the strength and the, the straightness true. Um, and I'm basically just going to push it all the way through here. Um, and um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. So if we go from this end, so this is the end that the the tube would go into in the first place. So you can see there it's it's come through the, the first section. And there we have it out the other side. So now that's gone through all the holes in the hinge and uh, the brass tube is now all the way through. So what I'm gonna do now is just continue pushing that brass rod all the way through to the other end. You want as least kind of showing on this end as possible and more on the other end. So, yeah, so now we've got, as you can see in there, the brass tube is hidden away inside the end of the, the elevator. So I'm probably just going to give it a little bit more of a push just to make sure it's fully hidden in a way there and, and the hinge the rod can sit nicely in that hole once it's all done. Okay, so that's the, the hinge nicely hidden away in there and now we can get the rod back out. So as you can see, we want a nice smooth movement. Look at that, straight out, much better than how it was before where it was all stiff. So now all we're left with is the brass tube, uh, obviously all hidden away in that end, um, which is good and what we want. The brass tubes showing in the middle hinge slots and the excess on the end. So what I want gonna do now is basically trim the end off there. So I'm gonna saw the end off here just to um, get rid of that excess because we obviously don't need that. And then what I'm also going to do is cut away the hinges in the centre here for allow it the hinges to come into place here and for the rod to pass through. Um, and then the idea being that these little off cuts is what I can then put through the hinges themselves just to hinge those parts as well. Um, and then we've got a pretty much a continuous flowing brass tube through the elevator, through the hinges and also I'll put a little bit of excess into the fuzz as well um, for this end so that um, it's just one continuous flow all the way through. Okay, so once the brass rod is all in place, as you can see the, uh, the end of the pin is pushed nice and flush inside the elevator. The brass rod is going through the hinge holes and it's popping out at the end with the uh, rod coming out as well. So what we want to do now is make sure that you've got some excess sticking out um, and then we want to glue it. So we need to get some glue in there whilst it's sticking out, whilst the hinge rod is all kind of holding it in place um, and also get some glue into these parts here um, whilst it's all kind of um, sealed off with no kind of chance of the, the glue running into hitting the rod or the inside of the, the brass tube and uh, and obviously causing the, the rod to stick. So what we're gonna do first is get some glue in there. So what, I, what I'm gonna use in this case is just some thick epo uh, zap uh, cyano. So it's just, 
I'm using the thick one just because it's um, more of a, a gap filling formula um, and it's a bit slightly bit slower curing it's still pretty quick being super glue but it's slower than the say the the, the thin or the the medium even um, and what I'm also going to do is use a flexi tip so these are, are just nice little thin tips that are obviously flexible so that we can get that on there and get right inside the any holes as best we can to kind of get a, a maximum effect of the glue going in there to secure the 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 rod in place okay so we've got the glue ready with the flexi tip on so all we're gonna do is get that down there pushing it right in and then squeeze the bottle for the glue to get right in Okay, so that's that end done. Just check obviously the uh, that the, the pin still moves and that that's not stuck. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is do the same sort of thing on the middle areas as well. want to allow plenty in there wherever you can any kind of holes to just let that run in to the gaps and then the same on the final hole as well Okay, so that's all in place and all good. I'm not going to risk putting any on this final end here um, because obviously that's very close to where the rod goes in and out and there's not really much room for error there. So don't want to risk any glue getting into where the rod goes. So um, this end should be pretty secure anyway because what I plan to do is once the rod is fully all back on and in place on the, the elevator, I'm going to push the rod all the way in and um, basically just fill this little hole with um, some filler so that it stops the, the rod coming back out, which will also obviously help secure the, the brass tube as well. Okay, so now the glue has set and I've removed the rod. What we're gonna do is just use a kind of hobby saw um, just to trim off the edge. So we're gonna take off this excess here so we can have it nice and flat and smooth. And then we're also going to saw off these middle sections here and here with the thought being that basically these offcuts can then be put through the middle of the hinges themselves on the fuzz um, so that we have one continuous line of uh, brass tubing from one end to the other um, allowing for one straight smooth movement all the way through okay So starting with the end bit first, we're just going to cut this bit off here. and flush and smooth 
And then what you can do is use a tool like this just to kind of get the edges out there and kind of open that hole up a bit better. A reamer. There we go. It's nice and smooth. So then if we push the rod in from the other side, we should get that nice kind of smooth movement all the way through. And then we can just give it a little bit of a shove the other side to push it through that end. And there we go. Nice and smooth all the way through. No kind of real resistance, which is what we want. Okay, so similar to that, um, we're now also going to be doing the same again on the middle sections. So just cutting out those center sections to allow the holes for the hinges to pass through here and here. Again, just trying to get as close to the edge as you can when cutting, just to allow as much room as possible. Okay, that's cut through one side there. And then we just need to finish off the other side. And there we go, it's broken through. Okay, so that's the middle all cut out. Nice little gap. And we have the The cut out of the, the the brass tube there that can then be slotted into the hinge hole so i'm going to fast forward now and just do this second bit and then um, we can look at the next step And there we have the second hole. So now you can see we've got the brass two running through the end where the rod enters, through the two hinge holes, and then out the end there. What we're gonna do now is just trial it, um, how it's looking in the actual hinge itself. Just make sure it's all running smoothly. Okay, so here we are with the elevator and the rod and ready to trial it um, just as a test run first. So um, we're just going to make sure that the rod's coming through there and line it up with the hinges. So frodding it through nice and smooth. Get it into that middle section. And that's now all the way through pretty much and that's it nice and smooth movement and rocking it there's no movement so there's a little bit left and right which isn't the end of the world if there is or not but i'm hoping that by putting the brass tube in through the uh, the hinges that will stop that as well but um yeah the most important thing is there's no back to front movement which was the worst so um yeah happy with that um, so we could leave it there, but just to kind of future proof it again, we're going to um, add some brass rod actually to the hinges here, here, and then put a little bit in the uh, support where it goes into the fuzz here as well, just to fully ensure that the brass rod is going all the way through and there's no chance of, uh, of any kind of future vibrations causing issues and, and making the, uh, the whole thing come loose again. 
So we're going to take it back off. So just pulling the hinge back out, nice and smooth, and it's straight off again. And what we're going to do is um, look at basically trying to get this now all lined up with the rod and the brass tubing to move in straight through there without kind of altering any angles. Okay, so what I've just done off camera is just tidy up these little offcuts from the middle of the hinge slots. And what I'm gonna do is get those uh, in place here. So they're pretty much exactly the right length to just kind of fit just, just over the width of the hinge. And obviously they'll fit in between the hinge holes because we've just cut them from there. So um, it should ideally be a perfect fit there. Um, what we'll need to do is just open up the hint, the holes for the pin here just a little bit to fit the brass tube um, and then get them glued in place. Okay, so what I've done is gone and find a drill bit on a hand drill. So this is just a, a simple, easy hand drill um, with basically the width of the drill just as wide as the brass, tip, brass tube there. Um, so as close as it can get. Don't want to make it too wide so that I open the hole too much and there's no room for the glue to stick, but don't want to make it too tight so that it doesn't actually go through. Okay, so I've just popped the brass tube in there and it's a nice little tight fit, which is great. And then same to go on the next one. Okay, so there we have it. The hinge holes are in. Just the final end one to do, but just before we do that, I'm just gonna do one more little check just to make sure it's all still in line. There we go, it's all the way through. Just took a little a few seconds there just to try and find the holes. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. So I'm happy with that. The, the hinges so far still all line up. There's free movement. Um, just the final little bit to do, which is put some brass tube in the, the fuzz hole here, just for a little bit more final support. And then the jobs are good. In. Okay, so I've just drilled the hole for the final little bit of brass tube. And again, that just nice, nice little tight fit just to keep it nice and secure. but just leaving a little bit out there so that I can glue it and um, then cut the just the end off there. So there we go. The rod is now all the way through and there's clear movement, nice up and down. I'm happy with that. Cheers, bye.